New tonight, one local woman had no idea her husband was coming home early from serving overseas on his fourth tour. But we did. Watch who's Talitha Vickers was there for this fantastic moment. I was holding my breath for this one because Staff Sergeant Michael Nardone set up a plan to surprise his wife at the very hospital where she works by posing as a trauma patient. Not your typical homecoming, but I tell you what, he set up this plan and pulled it off to perfection, leaving everyone in tears. U.S. Air Force Staff Sergeant Michael Nardone didn't waste a moment after stepping off an international flight from Germany geared up for a surprise mission to catch his wife off guard on the job inside the ER at Holmes Regional Medical Center. Uh, the night before, I didn't really sleep because I was excited about coming home, so uh, of course, uh, just can't wait to see her. Up on a hospital bed and under the sheets, Sergeant Nardone waits for his wife, who's an ultrasound tech. They haven't seen each other for seven months, and she's got no idea that her husband's tour of duty ended earlier than expected. All she knows is that a patient is waiting for an emergency procedure. And like her husband, she's ready to serve. But then... Uh, Mark I'm really happy. I'm really shocked. I wasn't expecting it at all. The tearful homecoming mission is complete, and the family, including their four year old Isabella and 22 month old William, will be reunited. What do you think the kids are going to say when they see you? They're, they're going to, well, that's going to be a whole nother. Whole nother thing because they're probably going to be asleep by the time we get home. But I'm usually not good at surprises, so I, I think this was a little bit better. So everybody got involved, and I uh, really uh, thanks. Thank you, thank help. you yes. all. Quite an embrace. Staff Sergeant Michael Nardone was not supposed to return home until August 20th. He has been deployed four times since getting married to his wife, Leah, in 2006. But he says this was hands down by far the best homecoming salute that he has ever been able to give his wife. Reporting from Brevard, Talitha Vickers, West 2 News. Job well done. Mission accomplished right there. <laughs> it's good to be home. For that right there. Oh. Let me get my wits about myself. I think we're going to try to do this about uh, two months ago. Before Christmas. They sent you the Christmas package. Yeah, oh, yeah, by the way, I got your cards. and. Uh, that was great, and I appreciate that. Uh, anyway, we were going to do this about two months ago for Christmas, and uh, for whatever reason, time and all didn't it didn't work out. So we kind of concocted this little plan to uh, shock these two, and then I got three more we'll shock tonight. So uh, I'll tell you a little bit about what I do. And then I'll just kind of open it up for questions. And some things I might be able to answer, some things I might not be able to take. Uh, this was my third tour. And uh, first two was in Iraq. 
And then this this one that I'm on now, uh, I'm at what I call the tan candy land because uh, I don't have to worry about getting shot. Uh, I go to work from eight to from zero eight to about 1,700, 1,800 every day. And uh, I'm the S4, logistics officer for our, bata uh, for our group. Uh, I'm part of the 1108 TASM G Theater Aviation Sustainable Maintenance Group. And what our guys do is they provide aviation maintenance to the theater. We are a theater asset. And honestly, uh, I'm a major. And I'm, I'm actually like a private first class over there because there's majors running out the wild zoo. Uh, as a matter of fact, I was sitting in the uh, chow hall. I guess it was Thursday, and I counted 49 06s. And an 06 is a full bird term. 49 of them. And that, that just don't happen very often. But uh, where I sit, I actually work for a full bird colonel, and he works for a one-star general. But uh, so we've got a sale in Kuwait. There's about uh, 77 of us in Kuwait. No, I'm sorry, 85 of us in Kuwait and 77 in Afghanistan. And I uh, told my wife, Naomi, yesterday, when I get back, I'll be home for two weeks, and then I'm going to make a trip to Afghanistan and do a battlefield circulation to the three detachments that we have there. And what my job is, is again, our guys do theater aviation sustainment on helicopters, all models. The Black Hawk, the Chinook, the Apache, the Kyle Warrior, and, uh, but <clears throat> we are a theater, um, theater asset, <coughs> meaning that Colonel Berry, who works for General Ladu, who is the AMC, Army Material Command, Southwest Asia Commander, when she tells him, I need this, our boys jump. And that's what we did. Uh, I've never been at the level that I'm at now. I've got, uh, I've got. Just, no, 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 close the door. Close the door, close the door. Daddy! <laughs> what are you doing? What's going on? I knew it! That's why I asked you! <laughs> Hi, baby. Kate. Hi. Oh, and we got one more. Nana, where is she? What's going on? Oh. Oh, my goodness. What is she doing? Oh. Don't. How are you doing? That's okay. I knew it. Oh, Daddy, what, Daddy, what do you think? I think it's awesome. Hey, Sumo boy. Good boy. Here you go.
was a hero's welcome in Gretna. Two of our military's bravest paid a visit, spreading their message of inspiration and courage to local youths. KTV News Watch 7's Kyle Gravelin has the story. Gretna High School students bearing American flags lined the main entranceway Thursday. The patriotic presentation in place to welcome Sergeant Major Brad Casal, United States Marine Corps, and Taylor Morris, an explosive ordnance tech with the U.S. Navy. Two heroes, severely injured, fighting for our country. Deployed to Afghanistan, stepped on an IED, uh, blew off parts of all four limbs. Morris's equipment didn't detect that underground IED back in September 2012. Casal sustained gun and shrapnel wounds while protecting a fellow injured Marine in the Battle of Fallujah. But Morris and Casal overcame all odds and survived. Now they focus on our country's future, spreading a message of inspiration and courage. You face it every day in life. I mean, you're, you're not going to encounter and go through life without facing adversity. Facing and overcoming adversity, something Morris says can't always be done alone. You can wing it on your own or you can, you know, look up to somebody that, uh, you know, you kind of agree with the way they did things and, and try to follow that as best you can. Former Army Captain and now Nebraska Governor Dave Heineman also spoke at Thursday's event. These men willingly and women put their life on the line so that we enjoy all the freedoms we have today. Sergeant Major Casal cracked a couple jokes but left students with some sage advice before departing the stage. If you just have two things, if you use two things, this and this, if you use your head and put your heart into it, you'll accomplish anything. And now it's up to those students to lead us into the future. Reporting in Gretna, Kyle Gravlin, KETV News Watch 7. Everyone be here for the wedding? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, we were worried about him. We didn't else. think he was going to be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh good one, Amanda. <laughs> good one. No, oh. <laughs> My son, Jerry.